Hello everyone. Uh, today I will uh, show you how to uh, simulate vortex induced vibrations of a cylindrical structure in open form. And I'll try to uh, replicate this paper. Uh, the effect of base column of vortex induced vibration of a circular cylinder with lower spec ratio. Okay. And I will uh, uh, use the geometry. Uh, provided by that paper and the geometry is like this and we have a cylindrical structure with a cylindrical base uh, having larger diameter so and uh, by giving a <coughs> uniform flow uh, across this uh, structure the uh, this structure will oscillate in the cross uh, cross flow direction uh, perpendicular to the flow and I will show how to uh, do it in open form. So this is the uh, flow of the uh, sim cr uh, creating the simulation files. First, we will create the geometry by using Salome. Uh, Salome is a open source tool for creating uh, geometries and uh, meshes. Mm. We can create both geometries and meshes, but uh, in this uh, case, I will only create the geometry and I will convert to a uh, surface mesh uh, in the SDL file format, which will be used by OpenForm to create the volume mesh. And so, in OpenForm, we have uh, the block mesh, it's a structure uh, mesh generator. And uh, generally, we use it to create the background mesh, and uh, we have a snappy hex mesh. So the idea is, uh, snappy hex mesh uses uh, the background mesh from a block mesh and the SDL file from our Salome to create the volume mesh of our simulation. And this mesh will be an open form mesh, uh, which is a uh, hex dominated uh, and structure mesh and it can uh, readily be used by open form to uh, solve uh, the flow field and we will uh, give the boundary conditions and physical properties and we will adjust the numerical schemes uh, for this solver and also of course we will choose the right solver and after that, we can use Paraview to visualize the simulation results, and uh, we can also use uh, Python and Excel etc. for analyzing the CFD results. So the this video is about uh, geometry creation in Salome, and uh, this is the uh, geometry uh, dimensions uh, provided by. Uh, the paper and actually these are like uh, non-dimensional values uh, normalized by the diameter so I will assume the diameter to be 1 meters and uh, the other lengths and diameters are like this so this is the final <laughs> uh, product of the geometry and I will use this to create the STL mesh so let's uh, before going ahead, uh, we, I will provide you uh, another, uh, an overview of the simulation, and this is the simulation domain, and we we have the our cylinder, and we have the inflow, which is a uniform flow, and we have uh, boundary conditions, uh, outlets and sides, okay. and uh, I uh, plan to. Uh, create a simple uh, replication of this simulation and but I will not go very deep and uh, validate the whole process uh, the whole uh, results so but uh, the simulation results will be like this the uh, oscillation of the cylinder and the lift coefficients and we can uh, even uh, compare the uh, and motion amplitudes of our cylinder. So let's go ahead and uh, create the geometry. So 
uh, first we need to fire up uh, Salome uh, if you don't have Salome you can easily uh, download here and you can easily google it and uh, Salome and download it I use uh, version 9.9.0 uh, on my Windows computer and of course we can use uh, it on uh, Linux versions, but according to my experience, sometimes, especially uh, on send OSs, it has some problems. Maybe it's only me, or I don't know. Okay, so we start the slow man, and okay, mm -hmm. okay, good. So we have uh, three main modules in Salome. The first one is the shaper, uh, which will we will use it now to create the geometry. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, parametric uh, modeling tool. And the second part is the geometry, but we will skip this geometry module because most of the uh, functionalities of this module can be done in the shaper so we will only use shaper most of the time and sometimes if uh, we need to we, we may use geometry for but for this project we will only use shaper and the third one is the mesh where we can create both the uh, volume and surface meshes so let's go ahead our shaper module click it and first we need to create a part so new part and then we want to we may want to uh, create a sketch of this so let's create a sketch on the menu and click sketch and we need to choose the uh, right uh, plane I will choose the XZ plane okay and we can click the set plane view so this is the basic of our sketch so it, these are the sketching tools we, we can have lines rectangles and circles etc and we can also have uh, dimensions uh, and constraints so this is uh, this shape bar is a parametric modeling tool so the uh, workflow is we first create the uh, sketch and we can extrude or revolve the sketch to a 3d shape we may want to oh, create a okay yeah yeah if we we use uh, uh if we click when the line is seems uh vertical or horizontal it will show h and v which is uh the constraints it shows that our model is also already constrained okay so we have the basic shape and we need to give the dimensions so this is the okay, horizontal distance right? oops sorry sometimes it happens and this is a uh, diameter so we have one diameter so 0 0.5 so it's very small and we can have this which is one okay. then we can uh, give them the heights this is the vertical distance so we will give it a vertical distance which is here 0 0.4 meters and from here to here is uh, okay two meters okay now we have our sketch and the this green box shows our sketch is fully constrained so we don't need to uh, do anything anything else 
if we add more constraints it will be over constraint it's not good at all so this is okay it, it is even good okay so I put applies and we have our sketch so to create our uh, geometry we will revolve the sketch so the revolve is in features this is revolutions okay and we need to choose this faces and click the it's important to click uh, inside the sketch because it will uh, select the faces and the next step is to choose the vector it should be a line or an axis which will be used to revolve and this is the line okay and click and here we go we have our geometry so let's go ahead and save it beginning okay mm. so this is uh, only the case file for this Salome and it's not the mesh file uh, the geometry yet so we will we want to create the SDL file so we go ahead and move on to mesh okay and we can click show so this is uh, the geometry we created and we will use this to create the mesh so in the menu we have mesh create mesh okay and here the the name of the mesh is mesh one so we can change to cylinder and the geometry is revolution one one which is our this uh, geometry so and we can uh, this is a 3d mesh so I will use this netgen 1d 2d 3d actually we can use uh, 2d meshing because uh, this is only a surface mesh not the volume we don't need the volume mesh so it depends on you it's easier to use the 3d and so and click apply and we have the mesh here and in the, in the drop down menu we can have uh, we can see our cylinder and click it click on it and maybe we can right click and compute here is our mesh so I will hide them. okay this is a very raw mesh still but uh, you have the idea so I want to refine the mesh a little bit so here uh, we right click the mesh and click the edit mesh so we can have uh, the previous uh, meshing uh, settings um, dialog and we have hypothesis and here we have this gear icon and we can by clicking the uh, net gen parameters we can uh, choose it to okay, 0 0.05 okay so this is the maximum and minimum sizes and we can also choose other parameters like moderate and fine Okay, let's go ahead and test it. So the I icon changed. It says uh, we have not created the mesh. So right click compute. Well, now we have our uh, mesh. Actually, this is a volume mesh, but we only want the uh, SDL format, which is a surface mesh. So right click on it and export. Here we have STL file. Click it, and we have uh, this warning, and just yes, and we can uh, save it. File name is cylinder, and we can choose either uh, STL ASCII or binary formats. I would like. Uh, I better use S ASCII because we can edit the mesh by uh, on a text editor, and which we will use. Uh, okay save so that's it so we will save the mesh the case file and we don't need the salome anymore uh, because i am okay with this geometry 
which covers a lot of the features. Uh, our geometry is also uh, already very uh, simple, so we don't need very much details. And let's go ahead and check in para view. Okay, let's fire a para view and open, and we can have. So this file here, we have uh, the cylinder.htl, we can click it and apply, and we have our surface mesh, we can see a solid color with surface edges. So for this uh, part, that's it, and we now we have our geometry. Thank you very much.